So every single year I make a video about some of the best keyboards that you can install on Android. What's funny is it pretty much stays the same. I think every keyboard that comes out, and there's a lot of them, as you can see, there's time you just type in keyboard on the Google Play Store, there are lots of different ones. And I feel like for the last several years, it switched a lot. I used to like certain keyboards more than the other one, but now the stock keyboard within Google, I probably like the most. So I will say the Gboard you know, keyboard that comes stuck installed within every single version of Android. Now, unless you're using you know, Samsung Galaxy or you're using another device that doesn't have the stock keyboard, then clearly that one, you know, it's probably, you know, Samsung keyboard is very good too. But the Gboard keyboard, I've always liked a lot. It's very clean. It's very minimalistic. It doesn't have a lot of crazy stuff going on with it. And it just works. I feel like with some other keyboards I have, they switch on and off. So sometimes I'll be able to use the keyboard just fine, and then randomly it'll switch over to like the other keyboard, like it's just kind of weird. The Gboard or the stock keyboard has always been very good to me, and you can access the settings by clicking here and coming straight into your settings application with your keyboard and all that information. Now, if you just come straight into settings, you can also just come into the keyboard option here. You can change out a lot of things. You can change out your languages, you can change some preferences, whether you want or don't want the number row. In this case, I actually do prefer a number row, so I'll go and you know, turn this on. One-handed mode, keyboard height, you can change the size and height of the keyboard. You can turn on haptic, haptic feedback if you really want to. Hopping back out, you can change the theme of your keyboard as well. So you can go and change it from you know the white keyboard to default dark to all these other colors as well, which is honestly very awesome. So that's another option that you have within these keyboards, and, and that kind of stands out to me too. You can change a lot of other things within this keyboard. And that is why most of the time, whenever I look at these types of keyboards, especially on my pixels, I always am drawn to these keyboards, mostly because not only are they available here, but they're also available on iOS and other operating systems. So Gboard, thumbs up for me. I love Gboard a lot. Now, Microsoft Swift Key is probably another close runner up. I think Microsoft's done a good job with these keyboards. I don't know if these would necessarily be the first keyboards I would recommend installing though. I think they're great. You know, I think they've done a good job for the most part, but I still think to this day and age that Microsoft could probably expand this keyboard out a little bit more. Now, the thing I like about Swift Key is that there are a lot of features built in. So very similar to Gboard, you can change out a lot of things and it looks very similar to the settings panel that we have within our stock keyboard. Now, you can change a lot of things here I will say the keyboard does look very similar to Gboard in some ways. It is a smaller keyboard. You can change that later on in settings. But very similar to Gboard, you can't get that G there, but now it's B for Bing. And I think it looks good. You can see your clipboard history. You can see lots of other things too, which is pretty cool. But this hasn't really been the first keyboard I would recommend installing, mostly because Gboard, I think, is much better than this one. The other one, which is the Grammarly keyboard, I actually have been using this one, or I've used this one before, not on this one, but another one. And what's funny is, is that for the most part, this thing, you know, after signing in and doing all this annoying stuff, which you can click not now, so people don't know that, it's a good keyboard for the most part. I've had a decent time with it. I like it because it does allow you to basically have that like Grammarly styling. So it does allow you to basically go through and basically use that grammar you know, have a very decent grammar keyboard that fixes everything for you, which is pretty nice. But like, but like I said, it's just another keyboard, but that's why I have always almost preferred the Microsoft or I prefer the Gboard or the stock Android keyboard because I think Google did a really good job with that specific one. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.